we have with us Dr. Anu Devale, a political analyst from Damascus. Sir, thank you for your time. Dr. Arno Devale, the U.S. has sanctioned the Syrian officials, saying the Kurds will promote accountability for abuses committed against the Syrian people. Do you think the Syrian government is committing human rights crime against its own people? Well, one has to keep in mind that there's been a systematic campaign to demonize the Syrian and legitimate Syrian government for years now. The uh, so-called uh, Caesar file, which uh, actually uh, paved the way for the passing of this uh, U.S. law, domestic U.S. law, I should add, uh, allowing for uh, sanctions against any countries uh, who might uh, engage in some kind of transaction with the Syrian government, uh, and so on a matter of uh, humanitarian ground as well has always been debunked as an operation led by the uh, humanitarian NGO complex, uh, i.e., in this case, uh, Amnesty International. Uh, this is something that is uh, savantly uh, organized by uh, the uh, neoconservative and uh, liberal interventionist crowd in Washington, and they've been at it, you know, using media, NGO complex, and uh, by manipulating as well the uh, United Nations agencies, such as the uh, Organization for the Control of Chemical Weapons. So this is nothing new. And uh, in, uh, in, in this instance, it's just yet another example of uh, this uh, uh, attrition war, hybrid warfare that is being waged, not as much on the uh, Syrian government and or Syrian officials, but against the uh, Syrian people. Right. Dr. Devale, what do Washington want to gain with the latest curves as it has already sanctioned the Syrian government? Well, the objective is always uh, stated as such, basically, that uh, by putting pressure on the Syrian officials uh, and Syrian uh, organs of the state, uh, they are trying to basically prevent the state, the Syrian state, from attending to its uh, citizens' needs. And the hope is that over the long run, uh, public opinion in Syria, but also in other countries where those sanction regimes are being imposed, the population will turn against their elected officials. And I want to remind our viewers that we've had a presidential election uh, a couple of months ago, which was a ringing endorsement by the uh, Syrian people of the way uh, President Bashar al-Assad has handled and presided over the waging of the uh, war of liberation from terrorism. So those attempts to try to drive a wage between Syrian people, regular people, and its leadership will fail ultimately. So in the end, as a former UK ambassador to uh, Syria, Peter Ford said, we are really witnessing uh, nothing more than a spiteful policy which aims at cruelly rendering ordinary Syrians lives miserable and nothing else. Dr. Devale, the Biden administration is pulling all American troops out of Afghanistan and Iraq, but the U.S. military operation in Syria has seen no changes. Why do the U.S. want to linger on in, in its presence in Syria? As for your question on Syria, the uh, Syria group that has been specially appointed upon uh, President Biden's uh, uh, inauguration have openly claimed that their role is to basically remain in Syria for the oil uh, as a mean of pressure to prevent any kind of reconstruction and to put pressure on Syrian government to basically uh, obtain uh, through economic sanction what they could not obtain through uh, the means of terrorism. So Syria has won the war militarily and now becomes comes a new chapter. It's a new chapter which bears on economic sanctions, on diplomatic pressure, and uh, basically on uh, trying to prevent any reconstruction to take place. But by no means uh, the situation is that different between Syria and Iraq or between Syria, Iraq, and Afghanistan. I would say that specifically and to Syria and Iraq, uh, the main thing for the American is to try to contain what they call Iranian influence. 
uh, they believe that, and in order to protect their, you know, proxy state, uh, Israeli state, uh, in the region, they need to maintain a presence in the region to prevent what they perceive as uh, Iranian influence filling the vacuum uh, if they were to leave. So there is no way the Americans are going to be leaving the regions anytime soon. If anything, they are reactivating, as we speak, uh, terrorist sales. They are uh, trying to uh, break uh, the uh, lack of porosity of the border between Iraq and Syria, which has early on in a decade, last decade, allowed them to uh, wreak havoc, essentially, by uh, facilitating the uh, ins and outs of uh, uh, terrorists under their care and uh, training and control, should I say. Dr. Arno Davile, thank you for speaking to Indus News.